Hey y'all, it's your girl Tosh Tosh Toshana, and I'm back with another motivational and inspirational video. So we can change energies and raise frequencies to help make this world a better place. To help make our world a better place. To help make this world a better place. Yes. If you're new here, my name is Tashana and I'm the founder of The Chosen One's Love. We give out motivational, inspirational, and informational videos as much as we can to help raise energies, frequencies, and vibrations to change mentalities and yes, help make this world a better place. Today's video is about standing up for yourself against anybody and everybody that is against you bettering yourself, changing yourself, and transforming yourself. And really quick, y'all, I'm sorry for being MIA for the last couple of days. I'm a single mother of five and school in the South started yesterday. So I spent all weekend, my one day off, and a couple of days last week getting my kids ready for school. So I apologize, but I love y'all and thank y'all for being here. Back to the message. The negative energies of this world come in many shapes, different forms, and packages. It can be your own relative pool that tries to hurt you the worst. And people that don't want to see you do better than them, more than likely never, ever will want to see you doing better than them. You have people around you that swear that they want to do good by you, they love you, they want to be in your life, but their actions never match their words. You have to look at their actions and you have to read that energy because energy don't lie, people do. If a person says all this, but don't walk the walk that they are talking, they're probably a hypocrite and they're just saying things to see if it's going to fly past your head so they can use and abuse you or get over on you or use you for their amusement by making you miserable right along with them or being um, unpeaceful, don't have any peace, um, no contentment, just not comfortable within your own skin and within your own home. And those type of people laugh at that. Those type of people get a hype out of that. Those type of people are negative and they swear up and down. They don't mean you no harm. They will never hurt you. If a person comes out their mouth and be like, I will never, ever intentionally hurt you, but I don't understand why you act that way towards me when I'm when I'm just being me. First of all, but as a conjunction, that means it will go both ways. Listen to their energy. Their energy is already showing you that they're not there, that they're just talking out their mouth. And then they say they will never intentionally hurt you, but... Come on now, you have to listen to the in-betweens right there in your face. They're telling you, I will never intentionally hurt you, but I'm lying like a motherfucker. I will hurt your ass in them any given moment when it comes to me. That's what they're really saying, but they're trying to be passive aggressive about it. That's why you have to listen to the words in between what people say. You have, I don't care. A person don't know how to talk. They ain't learn proper grammar. They don't know the, the ways to put words together. It's called change, growth, and transformation. Those type of people, users, abusers, manipulators, people that try to get over on people, narcissists, that people that's just always leeching off of other people or asking other people for stuff or trying to get stuff from other people, not like as far as real actual help, but I'm talking about these negative people out here, not these positive people that actually be needing help. Like, cause I've been one of them in life. True fact. I need help now. True. I'm not saying I don't. Ain't nobody perfect. But this, I'm talking about the users, abusers, and manipulators. They will tell you that you need to accept them for them. And if you don't accept them for them, they don't know what they're going to do. Oh, well, they know because you have a great heart and a good, kind soul that they can try to manipulate you and get their way back into your life. I chose to love you from a distance. That does not mean that I don't love you. That just simply means I don't like some of the characteristics coming from you, aka most of the time I don't like you as a person. But 
I love you. I actually love everybody in the whole wide world. We are all connected. We are all brethren. We are all sisters. I'm just saying. But majority of people that's out here using, abusing, being manipulators, just, just lost, just doing negative things for no reason, just don't want to be found. Like, I don't like those people. And I, I don't care to be around those people. I can love you from a distance. If I simply call and send you a text or just send vibrations up into the atmosphere, it's just telling you that I love you. And I understand that you had childhood trauma and that you can't help the way that you are. And I understand that, but I don't have to deal with you. I don't have to be in your life. I don't have to be around the negativity. And that's what I choose to express. And that's what I choose to hold as a boundary. You say, if you don't accept me for who I am, then I guess we're not going to have anything. We're not going to build nothing. Then I guess we're not. Because there's no way that I'm going to have to change and let you take my peace away. Let you use me. Let you abuse me. Let you get over on me. Let you lie to me. Let you hurt me over and over and over again from childhood into adulthood all my life till I finally start standing up for myself. And you claim you want a relationship with me. You want a relationship with the kids that are in my life, but yet you don't show that. And then your only excuse because then it, it's an excuse, is you need to accept me for me. Or I don't know if you don't accept me for me. I don't know what we're going to do. You've been this same me, this same toxic, lying, conniving, fake, manipulating, selfish, getting over on everybody, using everybody, abusing everybody, not loving anybody, including yourself, all your life. All your life. You're now in your 50s, 50s. And you can't keep using your childhood trauma and your past as an excuse. Nobody's going to want to be in your life. And the issue is nobody tells anybody the truth about how they really are, how they really acting and what they really doing to the people around them. And really those people should go be by themselves if they're going to be that way, stuck in their ways because change, transformation and growth is inevitable. You either change for the better or you change for the worse. And honestly, if you are the same way from the time you were younger to the time you got older, you just learn how to lie better and manipulate better and get over on people better. So it looked like you're not doing the same thing. You are actually worse. You're going further down the rabbit hole because you haven't made any change or progression towards positivity and bettering your life. You just put a bigger band-aid over the issues. That's not true healing. And that's why you are miserable and you want misery as your company, but nobody's going to accompany in your misery, especially a child of God or a person that is actually doing the healing work. Understand and accept that people do love you for the skin that you are in, for the horrible person that you have been, for the non-conducive energy that you've given out. The only thing that you've taught most of the people in your life is what not to be. So I congratulate you for that. And I love you for that. But as far as you being in our life, the kids around me life, reaping off our energies and our benefits and our positivities that we put in, we, we reaping what we sowed, you, you can't have none of that. You will not get none of that. I understand that this might be a message for you or somebody that you need to, but this is a message to those users and abusers in my life. This is a message to the users and abusers that used to be in my life. This is a message to the users and abusers that have links linked into my life, but can no longer can no longer through the grace of God, the higher power, the higher consciousness, get over on me, use me, abuse me, use me for my positivity and my energy and my love and my kindness and my care ever again. And you will not, you will not use the kids that I have brought into this world for your supply, for your narcissist supply, 
because those kids cannot control their boundaries or even understand what a boundary is or to be able to con to to respectively and lovingly and for their self control and protect their energy and their peace me as their mother the woman the mama the mommy that brought them into this world will not allow it from anybody and i don't care if you my mama my daddy my sister my brother my auntie my uncle my cousin my grandma my son you can be the closest person to me if you are trying to come up against me and my kids with the negativity, the using and abusing and the getting over because you don't want to change, transform and grow, that is on you. That is your problem. But understand, because you were put into this world and you were a vessel to people out in this world, that there are people out here that love you, even through your negativity, even through everything that you put them through. But that don't mean because they love you, that they are going to keep you in their life. That don't mean because they love you that they're going to keep repeating the same cycle over and over and over and over again. That don't mean because they love you that they're going to come let you use them and abuse them and get over on them and disrupt their peace in their own home. That's not what love is. Love is honoring when somebody's hurting you and telling that person when they're hurting you and expecting that person because they say they love you back, they really love you back to change, transform, and grow if it is negative and bad and they want to actually still be in your life. And vice versa, it's called sacrifices. And people that say they love someone will make a sacrifice for them, will actually step aside and stop being selfish and being selfless. That's why I say life is a balance. Life is a balance. You have to be somewhat selfish, but somewhat selfless. You cannot spend all your life being selfish. You cannot spend all your life being selfish and think that it's never going to come to a halt. You think that people are never going to wake up. You don't have that big of a grasp and hold on people because God, God is real and God is positive and, 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 and energy don't lie. People do. And eventually people get tired of not being able to have peace, peace. I'm at peace struggling by myself than I was struggling with people that were putting me further into the struggle because they don't want to change, transform, and grow. You have to understand when you have a leech or you have a negative entity around you, negative energy around you, and it can be coming from the people closest to you, y'all. More than likely, it is the people closest to you, y'all. You have to understand when people don't mean you no good. And like I say, it could be your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, your grandma. Your, your, it don't matter who it is. It could be the people closest to you as well as people outside of you. But I guarantee you, before it's a person outside of you, it's going to be people closest to you because they know exactly where to hit you. They know exactly how to hurt you. So you have to be careful about the people that you let around your life or you let into your life. Or even if you grew up in a toxic, toxic relative pool with toxic parents and toxic people, you have to understand once you get of age and you're able to get away from that, that it's okay to love those people from a distance. It's okay to keep those people at a distance so they don't try to disrupt your peace and use and abuse you and steal your energy for your life. It is okay. It's going to be harder because you have to go within your brain and reprogram and recondition yourself about the actual relationships and the people and the places and the things and environments in your life, but it's doable. You can reprogram. You can change yourself. You can transform yourself. You can reprogram and, and, and put new things into your brain. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight, but you can heal yourself. I am living proof. I do this with a passion. I refuse to let anybody get over on me especially the toxicity that I grew up in, that I grew up in. I refuse. I rebuke you in the name of God.
in the name of the higher power and the higher consciousness, stay where you at. If we see each other at functions and events, that's fine. Hi and bye. And I love you because I do love you. But as far as us being around each other, kicking it, me bowing down to your negative and low energy will never, ever, ever, ever happen again in life. So I wish you the best of luck, nothing but prosperity and abundance and happiness and positivity and love and care and kindness and tenacious and serenity and peacefulness to you, to you. I wish all that upon you. But as far as you being in my life and my kids' life, trying, trying to convert us to your side with the disrespect, the lies, the using and abusing, we don't want no parts of. We don't want no parts of. Gain some very valuable information from this video. Stop letting people use you and abuse you and lie to you and get over on you because people will tell you anything. They will tell you anything just to get back in your good graces, just to get back in your good arms, just to get back in your energetic field, just to get back in front of your face, just to try to hurt you all over again. With all that being said, I love y'all and have a very beautiful, blessed day. Mwah.